Hello everyone, welcome to Rockshire Gaming. My name is Eric. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of Sky Team from Scorpion Mask. This is a two-player cooperative game in which you play as co-pilots on a commercial airliner attempting to uh, land your plane in various airports across the world. So I've heard a lot of good things about it. Thought I would give it a try here on the channel and see what we got. So we're going to open up said box. Right here, we've got Sky Team, prepare for landing, two-player co-op immersive high drama from Luke Ramon. It's done by Scorpion Mask over here. We've got the side of the box here with our various content of basic contents and additional components. Uh, over here on the back says, prepare for landing, take the controls of a commercial airliner and become a team of pilots. Coordinate your efforts and try to successfully land your plane. Feel all the tension from inside the cockpit. From Montreal to Tokyo, discover 11 airports and 21 exciting scenarios inspired by real landing conditions. Wind, kerosene leaks, traffic, ice. Each airport comes with its own set of challenges. Turn after turn, strategically place all your dice on the control panel and complete the landing procedure. So there's the landing procedures right there. It takes about 20 minutes to play a game. It's for two players and you apparently have had to eat 12 plus cakes in order to play the game. I don't make the rules. So we're going to go ahead and open this one up. Let's go ahead. I'll take the rest of the tape off later, but let's go ahead and take a look, not in a book, but in the box and see what we have. So the first thing we have is the Sky Team landing procedure. Quite a few books. We've got, well, quite a few. There's two. Uh, one more usually than most games. Uh, but we've got uh, Sky Team landing procedure. Take the controls of an airliner with your trusty crewmate. Coordinate your efforts and land your aircraft all over the world. Here is the goal of the game right here. Let's see. What do we got? Preparation. When you first open the box. So it looks like there's a few things to do with the box when you first get it. Set up before each game right their strategy, discussion, and dice rolls, dice placement, actions, uh, let's see, axis of the plane over here, engines, uh, radio, landing, gear, uh, I'm assuming that with the two different colors uh, on the instructions here and here, that those are things that both players can do, whereas stuff with the landing gear, it says pilot only, so if I actually read, I would answer my own question so flaps which is the co-pilot only concentration brakes pilot only and three end of round decreasing altitude so these are all the instructions for how to actually fly the plane so final round and end of game right there so there's our strategic advice and all that stuff so that looks like our main rule book right there and did that have the components to the game uh, not technically. Well, maybe a little bit. So, now yeah, we'll keep it over here next to me, just in case. Let's go ahead and look at our flight log. Now that you've mastered landing in Montreal, it's time to head off into the Wild Beyond to discover iconic airports of around the world and take challenges worthy of real pilots. Warning, do not open before having successfully landed in Montreal. So, for the sake of my own surprise, I'm not going to open that up. I'm going to place it right over there. You can get me in the comments or whatnot if uh, that's a slight problem, but that's uh, that's how I'm going to do that right there. So I like to keep, even though I'm doing these unboxings and showing off the stuff in the box, I don't necessarily, if there is like something surprising or anything like that, I don't necessarily want to ruin it for people who want to be surprised or even myself. Even though, yes, I'm making these videos, I don't necessarily want to flip through the rule book and ruin every surprise while even doing the unboxing. I've had plenty of unboxings where I've not unboxed whole much a ton of the game because I wanted to keep the surprise for myself. We're going to move that over here. Here are the Sky Team, I believe. Yeah, and you build these. I believe these are the, because um, you roll your dice in secret, I believe, in this one. So these are going to be, ooh, what? Well, they just call them uh, screens right here. So uh, give a screen to each player and read the reminders written inside. So these are screens that in some way sit like this in here. Kind of like this is how they're going to 
sit and so that way you can have your stuff over here rolling over here but then you also have the player aid in front of you i think that's pretty cool having some sort of like equivalent of like a dm screen of some sort um works better that way uh, so having some kind of equivalent of like a dm screen um on your side if you are trying to do like some kind of a hidden thing so then giving you a player aid uh as well probably help if i did this uh giving yourself like a player aid in there so that way you don't have much extra cards or anything like that. it's just right in front of you so there is the other one right there and there is no, we're gonna go this way right that is how i did it so we're gonna have the blue one right here that's right because i did it this way because even though the tab is on quote unquote the wrong side it keeps it open so uh player aid and these are essentially both the same yeah because both of them tell you what um what the flaps and everything do and the brakes and stuff like that so that way both people have an idea but these are your screens right here um different artwork on there as you can see so we'll place those right there and then next we have our game board right here and it looks like so when you first open the box, you are to start by removing and throwing out all parts of the control panel with this symbol. So it's the trash can symbol. So uh, basically everything on there. So all this, all almost all these punch out parts right here are all, everything basically punched out is thrown away. Um, so there is nothing you are keeping as far as that goes. And then, and even on the back, it marks that. And then I guess you keep, so when you do this and it's going to have all these other things underneath there. I assume there will be some context as I go through the rules and find out why they just didn't make a, um, like a double thick board or, or uh, you know whatever to just already have this on here so um i'm sure there is a reason for that but nonetheless uh we're going to keep that there so we'll move that right there but that is going to be our uh main uh control panel right there and then what do we have it's a bag of stuff what is in this bag of stuff oh it looks like our airplane so we'll hold that over here i was going to dump that out but i'm not going to um we've got our dice and like clinking clinking is because there is something um glass or plasticky under there that looks like um let's see it looks like something for altitude or not altitude the uh oh what am i thinking of um pit pitch and whatnot i'm I, I wish i had james with me because he's actually a pilot right now. um so that is pretty cool but that is that piece right there that i am assuming goes there on the board um let's see if we open it up yeah because it would go like this and i'm assuming this turns in some way during that's why it's not like fastened in there in some way i'm sure that tells you about how level and whatnot you are do have some six-sided die right here as I'm dropping them. They are just in that blue and orange color right there. Uh, there's no additional symbols that I can tell on here. So uh, looks like it's just uh, 40, two sets of 46, one blue and one orange right there. And then we have some other pieces right there some cardboard that's what that looks like on both sides and it does tell you to throw away this piece when you are done punching all that out uh, we have some adhesive patches right here that go in there some way up and then we've got the cards that um, just says Montreal on here so there is those cards right there we got and then I'm assuming by assuming I mean I figured out from the thing is that this one is the airport and that goes right here when we're playing 
and this one goes right here. So one of these looks like it's the approach track and the other one is the altitude track. So that is what we've got going on right there. So that's how the game board would seemingly look if I had already punched out all these things. This looks like a little smiley face, look at that. Um, so uh, that is that. And then lastly, lastly, I have all of these pieces that are in this bag. And you notice there's, other than this piece right here, there are no plastic bags or anything like that that I can see, unless they're in this part right here. Uh, there's no plastic bags that I can see in here, so they are trying to be environmentally conscious, which I believe they do mention that on the one side of the box right here with the tree planting and whatnot. So good on them for that right there. So. Uh, but yeah, there is no plastic components in the box. So I guess with that, there probably wasn't any cellophane wrap on anybody else's copy. So I'm going to put this over here. And we do have our little airplanes right there. I'm going to show those off. Ooh, they're flying away. So we've got our little airplanes right there. We've got three buildings. One blue, one red, one orange that I will try to hold up right there. Those are what those look like. And as always, we've got our high quality uh, silica right there. Made it into a cup. Um, so that is all of those components. Um, give me one second because we do have this box right here and I wanna make sure that that is not gonna to be too secretive. All right, so I did have to peek a little bit, but it turns out that the stuff on this side of the box is going to be for special scenarios and whatnot when you're going to the other uh, different airports and everything like that. Um, boards that you add on with this board right here that um, are for like the different conditions, things that we already did mention on the back of the box that I can't turn around now uh, for fear of everything falling out. But um, that is a lot of what is in there. So I can just show those off completely out of context. So uh, I would turn away now at this point. Uh, you don't want to see that. So spoilers ahead from this point on. All right, now that the people who don't want to be spoiled are gone, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at, again, the flight book. The flight book, like I said, does have uh, the different scenarios for the different flights and everything like that. That's not what we're going to show off in this uh, part of the video. We do have set up um, in here for additional uh, modules and everything like that. So we're gonna open this up right here and slightly go over the different components that we're going to find. These cards right here, which I will show like that, looks like they are special ability cards. So they are a um, number of special ability cards indicated by the chosen scenario. So they are basically going to help you during that scenario. So it's not like you're, at least as far as the rules look like they say, these are not cards that you're just gonna willy-nilly pick you know it's not like other games where you have like a some extra cards that may or may not help you throughout the course of the game you kind of pick which ones you want to use these are going to be specific to the scenarios uh special abilities you get in that whatnot so there is that we'll place them right there to not necessarily show off what the abilities are because they are again scenario based we do have our um flight things right here approach tracks and everything like that those again we're not going to show off um, very little context. I'm just looking in here in the book. Um, let's see here. We do have what they have as the kerosene track right here. So there is this right here with, again, all of our throwaway parts that we have right there. And then the other side of it looks like this. So I'm assuming this part of the board and this part of the board fold over on two each other so there is that right there looks like it could go there then as we turn page um, then we have let's see this one right here is going to be ice breaks so it is a board for I guess determining breaks while uh, all iced up there 
So there is more work up there for the pilot, but then the co-pilot has that bottom section right there that the pilot or the co-pilot looks like they can work with. So we'll place that right there for the moment. Then we've got additional setup for scenarios with wind right here. So there is that one, nothing on the other side of that. And then, and I think I did these all in reverse order. <laughs> so uh, next we have, let's see, intern. Intern has been assigned to you. They will be helpful during the flight, but you must finish their training before you land. So these are all different things for the intern right there. So, and then more of the sticky tape there from what it looks like so that is officially everything in the box all the components for sky team so um i'll give you a minute to get back here after the spoilers cool uh, so um that is all the components from sky team right there this looks like it's gonna be a pretty cool game for two players uh can't wait to play a scenario or two on the channel uh definitely need to play it first and do the initial um uh, montreal uh, uh flight first uh but let me know down below i, I mean keep it as spoiler less as you can uh, but uh let me know down below uh, what scenarios you think would be good for us to play on the channel uh, with this one. So just let me know that stuff down below. Uh, go ahead and make sure that you like this video if you did and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, I mean, if you haven't, I mean, why not? Please do. It'd be great. It'd be fun. Um, so let us know what you think about that, that stuff in down below. Notifications, all that stuff. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.